What's up vlog people? I was so excited about doing the vlog today and it happened for a little while because I knew I was getting an order from Amazon today and it was going to be a big one and I was going to show you what I got. Uh, I'm still going to show you what I got but I'm going to show you the one thing first because this was supposed to be like the, the coup de grave of the whole thing but instead, okay so check this out, I bought this like fancy, it was supposed to be this fancy Ant-Man mask that's like molded out of this hard plastic. This was kind of expensive but check it out. It arrives and I guess it had something like leaning on it or whatever. So the whole thing, so you see how it's bent? Like the whole thing's warped. And because it's warped, the, le the, 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 the lens on the eye is coming out. Um, this piece here, this dangly thing, is supposed to control, can you see how there's a fan in there? It's supposed to control that fan. Now, maybe it's just a matter of putting a battery in it, but I haven't figured out how to make it go. Didn't even get that far because this bloody helmet's warped. So disappointing because this was like, the rest is just like Halloween quality stuff. Halloween costume quality stuff. And this was like an actual, like supposed to be like a replica prop kind of thing. And I was so excited to get it. And it was going to be on display because I love Ant-Man's helmet and I like the movie a lot. But nope. So I'll be sending this back. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Because the reviews that are, like this company is called, what's on the back here? x -Cosser. Can you see the logo on the back of the helmet there? So these people got good reviews online and their stuff looks like it's quality. Like it's solid. It's handmade. It's just that it's just the plastic is just soft enough or maybe it got heated or something that it's warped and that sucks, but whatever. So anyways, I got a whole bunch of costume stuff. I'm going to put it all on and, and, and show it to you right now. I don't know how to make you trust me, but we have to go. This is the vision costume, did not come. Oh. It did not come with a Thor hammer, of course. It came with the mask, it didn't even come with the gloves. I ordered the gloves on themselves. It's ridiculous, it's silly. Let's get the molded chest. The mask, I don't like it. If I was making a video and I was gonna play the vision, I'd probably just get some, I'd, I'd talk to one of my makeup friends and I'd get a hood and I'd paint my face. And in fact, now that I've got this, maybe I will play vision in a video. <clears throat> My name is, I'm not Jarvis, I'm not Ultron, I don't know what I am, but we have to go. Did someone say Ultron? This Ultron costume I thought would be as an upgrade from the um, suit of tinfoil that I made back for the Age of Ultron video. So this costume uh, is another one where it's the mask and the suit, did not come with the gloves. The gloves I got because I thought they'd be like, not just a fun addition to this costume, but like just, they'd be fun to have just big grabby robot hands for a variety of things. Uh, the mask, you know, if I'm never gonna do Ultron, I'd probably love to get a better mask, and then they could just give this one to somebody to use for one of Ultron's minions. Like this would be a good mask to use for like, if I'm gonna have other Ultrons still like, wrap them up in, 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 in paper and right, tin foil. And these arms, notice how big they are at the top? I wonder what's up with that. Do they even look good with this costume? This has got like a mesh on the eye, so I can't quite see. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not even like the same silver or anything. They look almost more like Dr. Doom hands. But I mean, these are cool to have big rubber robot hands. Ugh, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing. What's up? Okay, so this costume is great. You know, the detail is pretty nice. You know, it's uh, not like full-on Stormtrooper armor, but like for a character that's going to be like a side character in the background of a video, you know, doing a Star Wars thing, you just want a whole bunch of characters. This is actually probably one of the better costumes as far as just, you know, being able to just kind of have the visual iconography in the background or whatever. The helmet is, uh, it's like a cheap plastic thing. You can kind of sort of see where the seam is. But at a glance, it'll hold up. I'm kind of happy with it uh, um, in the immediate sense. No gloves for it, unfortunately. But uh, how hard would it be to find white gloves? Okay, I'm going to be Finn now. You ready? <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, I don't have a costume for this. I only saw the mask. Now, this mask has been discontinued. Like, I couldn't find... I've seen it before, and I couldn't find it for sale anywhere except for, like, one site... I think it was like one place had one copy of it. The copyright information on the back of the neck says 1991. So I don't know if this is actually that old. It smells like it might be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I've, got a, I've got a great idea already like plotted um, that's going to be I'm shooting it when I go to Florida in January. And um, C-3PO is one of the characters. So I needed to get at least the mask. Like I can fake the rest by getting like, I'll go to get gold LeMay clothes from um, American Apparel or something if I have to. 
but uh, it had to be that face. It wouldn't have been C-3PO without that face. So I'm glad I got this mask for that video. Can't wait for you to see it. Very, very difficult to not try to tell you all about it right now. So next was going to be this Star-Lord mask, but there's a paper of instructions telling me to insert this into the eyes, but remove the paper and put two batteries and close the battery cover. Um, I cannot get this paper off. Like my, there's there's no like lip on it. There's I can't even doesn't even feel like it's supposed to come off. And there's neither batteries nor a battery cover for this. What do you know? It's X Coster, the same people that made that Ant Man mask. Captain America. So I got the shield. I've seen a lot of plastic shields that are like forty or fifty bucks in the store. So when I saw the place had this metal one for sixty. And knowing that it's like they may never have it again, I got it right away. And so, and then the mask, the mask came with the order with the rest of the stuff. Now, it doesn't actually go with this onesie. This onesie, I just put it on with the onesie because it's all Captain America. So, we're going to be doing, like, we're going to have Captain, Lazy Captain America join Lazy Batman and Lazy Superman. But this mask I got, because remember when we did the, the beer pong video? That mask didn't fit good. It was really uncomfortable. So, just in case we ever work with those versions of those characters again, me and Jason doing that kind of thing, I got this mask so that we could wear it with the, uh, with the thing. Now, the reason why I don't need the mask with the onesie is because it's got the hood, check this out, the hood, it's got the ears and the A already on it. So maybe I'll wear this, yeah, I'll wear this, I'll wear this to Captain America Civil War and just keep up my tradition of wearing a onesie to the big movies. Think they'll let me bring my shield into the theater? What up? And not as super, but just as heroic, I got this cop uniform. It doesn't come with pants, it's literally just the shirt with the badge on it and the print, this is all printed, this isn't even patches, this is printed, 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 and the hat with a big badge on it. I don't know if you can tell, but the, the, the hat's got a wire in it to keep it, like, give it its shape. It's pretty cool. So this one I had to, this actually, when I went on the, the spree of ordering costumes, this was the first one I was getting because I saw it on Amazon and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks or something. And um, so many times I need just like, a standard regular kind of beat cop in a in a scene for a video and so we're having to like you know some guy's gonna put on a tie and play a detective just because we don't have a cop uniform or somebody's gonna put on like a shirt and we'll just pin a badge to it and hope for the best but to actually have this hat and this shirt is actually very very cool and opens up so much more possibilities I've got tons more stuff coming like I said I'm getting the Hulk hands I've got uh, a few other characters coming in and um, the the main one that I'm working on right now is I need to get a complete Complete full Kylo Ren costume because now that I've seen the new Star Wars movie and I see what that character is about and there's just so much we could do with them. Um, I've we, we've already got ideas for Kylo Ren versus a particular superhero. That one's uh, we've already got plans to shoot that. Um, I'm starting to do ideas for Kylo Ren uh, going out with a certain female pop culture character. That's what, something I'm working on. Um, Kylo Ren and Darth Vader seems like a logical and natural pairing. So a lot we're going to be doing with that. So I hope you looked at. I hope you like this look into my uh, tickle trunk, as it were. And I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything from these costumes. No, I think I got everything. Big shipment today, hey? Anyways, yeah, so um, I'll show you more stuff when I get it. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow, and uh, Christmas is on its way!